sweet. Hey, get off my truck. You crap on my truck, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Get out of here. Two of them. There's the other one. He just tried to fly into the garage up here. They're going to have sex in my garage. What's up with that? His dad was streaming him from the internet. Say hi, Dad. All right. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm video recording you with uh, the other camera. You can't see me. I can't see you, no, but... It's funny you can watch me working on the car from a good, what, 50 miles away at least? Coffee. I'm wiring the uh, power to the fan now that you can see it. Well, I'm cranking right along. The dipstick. The correct dipstick. 86 only, I guess. The uh, hole on the block down there is smaller. I just had to bend it up a little, but that's all set. The Turbo Hydro 400, now because it had uh, come out of a box truck, that dipstick went way the hell. I couldn't check my oil from up here. It's been uh, chopped, and a shorter one from another transmission, Turbo 350, has been put in it. But hey, they even match. This is the mess dip sticks on the junkyard. <clears throat> the fan switch. I'm going to put this back in. My plugs are in there just finger tight. Come on you bugger. Here we go. The um, fan switch starts on the starter. Goes all the way up. It's in a high temp sheath. Goes to a fuse block. That I showed you. Now you can see the relay right there. There's the fan switch. And just for giggles, I put this little test switch. I'm not going to leave it there. I'm obviously going to make another bracket and move it somewhere else, but it's right there for now. I don't want it hanging and sparking and blowing things up. Um, Jesus, what else have I done? Uh, the dipstick was enough work. Oh, the headlights. Radiator, rather. Right behind the radiator is a uh, 3 16 plate. Like I said, it's welded to the bed rails. Um, under that, this spring is actually the um, emergency brake springs from a Pontiac Fiero. Um, I was using GM springs from these things right here. Brake springs, but they don't have any oomph to them. These got a lot more pressure. And the radiator actually, you know, could float around, but doesn't squeak or jump or that's how um, pretty much how Ford did it they had a spring and they had like a wooden pad or a piece of rubber or something there on the Model A and there's my tranny cooler which by the way doesn't leak um, I gotta get that little radiator hose on then we can put some water in it even but um, good to see a dipstick on it oh, it took forever to find one for this year engine unless I wanted some billet thing which I didn't. Trans fluid. I hope this video comes out because uh, yesterday I had a long one and um, one of the short videos I had wouldn't play. I had no audio, it was all scrambled. I gotta look up and see where the alternator wires go. I don't remember off the top of my head. But <clears throat> my fan works. I'll show you the swirl I mean on the fan. The blades aren't just uh, beveled. They're like an S shape to them if it ever stops. There you go. See the S shape? It's like a high volume fan. Buick. Um, uh, that's pretty much it. Still going. Only one little things. What else did I do? Nothing under here. Not yet. I'm getting there. Loving that Willie's mirror. 
Corvette uh, Power Flags. Uh, excuse me. Where does the light have to be behind me? But all nice and clean in there. And if you stand up here, you don't see any of it. So one more time. The emergency fan switch. It actually connects it through the uh, relay on the other side of the thermostat. So um, the thermostat could work two ways. See how there's three wires off of it? One's common, one's normally open, one's normally closed. Of course, one will run the fan when it hits a certain temperature, it kicks on, which is adjustable by that knob, by the way. And the other one would be reverse of that. It would shut the fan off when it came to temperature. Why you want to do that, I don't know. But um, that's the one I have that switch wired to. So it makes a nice test switch, or if you pull over and your thermostat's gone, this thermostat's gone bad, you just pull the switch, continue to drive home. Just a little trick. Look at how cracked that poor thing is. That thing is older than me, you, and this car. That's close. Uh, me and Dad are going to work on the plumbing on this thing. Maybe a uh, copper pipe. Um, because of the headlight plug, it gets in the way, so i got to go a little higher, but... This is at a slight angle, but so is my radiator. And they're almost a perfect 90 from each other. I might have to lift this one up just a little bit like that to make the corner. But um, not a big deal. I knew something was going to happen. I, I lucked out completely with this radiator for the fact that it came from a 41 Buick and that the fan is so close to the radiator in that car that the lower uh, connection points almost straight up. And when you lay it back, it only points, I mean, Look, it's pointing straight at us, right about there. Perfect. So if I ever needed a new radiator, cross your fingers, I don't. I need a 41 Buick. And a uh, nice old guy I know who's been doing radiators for the better part of 30 years. Said so if I ever need a radiator, just give him the old one. He'll take the top tank, the bottom tank, and buzz in a new one, but it'll be like $300. Oh, I got rid of the clip. I couldn't find a bolt for this. Um, it wasn't like a metric clip. So I took it out and I put a quarter 20 in it. Much better. Um, that's about it. So far, I mean, it's still early. But like I said, we've got a tranny dipstick, we've got an oil dipstick, and uh, top hose is in, bottom one we're working on, radiator's in. I'm going to leave that there just for someone to say, what the hell is that? <laughs> Dad is still uh, watching me on Skype. That's pretty funny. My little iPod's hanging on the wall there and he can watch me. And I'm about 70 feet from the house on the Wi-Fi, so. so. Let's keep cruising. Oh, what did I do next? Well, brake booster's in there. Master cylinder's in there. And everything's tight. I put uh, lock washers on everything, even the master cylinder. Um, I was killing myself hanging under there. I'm missing the, um, what do they call it? The, uh, the bolt that goes through the pedal assembly. It's a special one, and, uh, the guy that made it for me, I'm hoping he's watching this. Maybe he can find me one. I don't know what size it was or nothing. I took it off to do something. I think I re-welded it. He had only tacked it together, pretty much, and, uh, when I put it down somewhere and I just can't find it. And it's stupid me, I got a pin sitting in there for now so I know where my pedal sits, but I hit the pedal and punk fluid all over my heater, so that's awesome. Tranny fluid on the floor, a little bit leaked out. I have the correct dipstick and a brand new seal for the lip, some uh, black RTV around it, silicone. Ugh. Phew. Um, I don't know. Still cranking. What's next? I don't know. Uh, I still gotta look up where that alternator wire goes. I got extra. It's right there. But, um, yeah, cranking right along. Things are tightening up and becoming permanent and, uh, not coming off anymore. Really impressed with the radiator. That's just the tin shaking. The part radiator part, a little bounce to it so it doesn't bind or anything. It's nowhere near the pin or the uh, the bullet the ammo shell. Um, electrics are nice. Dipsticks finally in. Tranny dipsticks finally in. 
Uh, keep this up, man. We're gonna be cranking it soon. But I can't do anything without uh, my exhaust. I don't want to run it without the exhaust. A little ridiculous. Yeah, nice bracket for the owls. I'm gonna have to get an extra one of those too, because if that thing blows, you're screwed. It's one thing to change it on the side of the road. It's another thing to be towed because you don't have one. How reliable they are. Um, Don's had in his in the Monte Carlo for a better part of um, three years with no problem. So who knows? I gotta find a voltage reducer because my fan is indeed six volts. It's a beautiful little heater, but it goes like a bat out of hell with six volts on it. I mean, 12 volts on it. Um, that mess is on the floor. I was looking for a momentary switch. I cannot find it. The one I got out of that school bus. I cannot find it. It was here yesterday. Uh, oh, still cranking. Like I said. Let's see what else we can get done. Oh, he's dropping a wrench. Moon pedal. Oh yes, the tranny. The um, the dipstick tube is all set, like I said, and I have like three extras. Um, some are good, some are bad, some are good tubes. Um, what I'll do is all this stuff will go over to Don and it'll go in his little Chevy Archive trailer there. He's got two of them on the side of his house, full of crap. If you go back in my videos, you can see it. I did a walkthrough in Don's garage. He has a ton of crap. A ton of crap. A bunch of goodies. A bunch of goodies, too. Like a 33 Chevy and about pickup truck and about 100 pieces that I'd love to own but one project at a time well I walked by something the heater control and I started messing with it um, this is full actually that's high am I on high? Oh, I'm sorry that's off all the way forward is off the cables ran uh, it's one of those, it's not sealed or nothing. It hasn't been used in years, so it's really rusty inside. I pulled the cord all the way out, put a little grease on it, put it all back together. But my heater control, the thermostat, actually works. Let's see if I can give you a view here. How sweet is that? That's off, half, and high. And that thing wasn't even made for this. I don't remember what I got this. I know I got it on eBay for like 10 bucks. Um, pretty cool. Works nice too. It's tight. I thought it was going to be wicked loose. It's tight. The cable tightens it up a lot. I did oil it. Let me get over the other side. So we're on high. Medium and low. That's a nice smooth glide. Imagine that. Thing's got to be as old as a car. Uh, it uses a little, uh, what is it, 832 screw to pinch the cable, and then there's a clamp around the steel cable, and then it does a loop. It goes up to the outside. I'm going to have to pull this up a little bit, but not too bad. Um, the reason I had to put it visible is because my heater core mounts on the firewall, so I really had no place to put it except right there. But hey, man, the car is 80 years old. Be lucky it has heat. I think a Model T had heat. Good luck with that. I couldn't picture cruising around in a Model T. In the summer, sure, but in the winter? Holy crap. One thing that it's cold. Another thing that you're driving in it with no friggin' uh, heat. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a Model T did have heat. Didn't have much. If it did, 12-year-old kid can turn over a Model T and drive it. Very easy car. Love to own one. I'm not a Ford Chevy guy, I could care less as long as it's old. But um, it's nice to see this working. I'm going to have to do a little cable routing as you see. It's going to have to go in front of the booster and be pulled up. And it's got to go between those two heater vents. This one's going to be capped off. This one's going to be my defroster on the left. It's this little the wire right there. Um, I have a rubber cap that goes over there. but. I don't have any clamps, I have to pick some up. My heater hose does reach. Just why I put it all the way on when I'm going to need to buy clamps anyway. But still cruising. Look at that collectible rust. The desirable rust. 
and it's just bolted to the tab that normally was uh, part of that piece of wood that it used to nail to. So it's pretty neat. It's like it was already there and waiting for it. Just had to ream it out a little bit to uh, 5 16th hole. Put a fine thread nut on it, of which I had to paint it brown because it was too shiny. The only key to the car is right there. <laughs> and if I lose it, I'm going to change my ignition. But I got the fan switch wires. Uh, I need a voltage reducer. I keep saying that. I got oil all over my owls. And damn it. I tried to put my hand behind and I missed. But not a big deal. I'll wipe it down. Okay. I don't have the other cable. Um, I'm going to get a choke cable from a auto parts store or a bicycle cable. Um, no, it'd have to be a hard cable because that's how this thing clamps to it. It's like it's like chicken wire. It's really hard. It only came with one. I didn't have the other one that I know of. I don't remember getting it unless it's up there on the shelf somewhere. I'm going to have to dig see if I can find it. Or I'll be making one. I don't see it up there. Not a big deal. Very easy. Still rocking. I'm just walking by going through my old stuff. I got a remote oil filter, things like that stuff up here. And I come across Stuart Warner fuel gauge and an amp gauge. Same size. Maybe we could use those. I don't want to pay no $400 for five gauges. Are we kidding? Just because it's got a little moon sticker on it? Are we kidding? I'll get another moon speedo. <laughs> That's about it. They probably won't sell it to you separately. I probably just locked out that day on eBay, but... Anyway, here's my fuel gauge. Here's my amp gauge. Yeah, I'm sure there's more up here somewhere. I just got to dig out this corner. All kinds of crap in here. With every bolt on the planet. <clears throat> I have yet to need a bolt. Um, the only thing I really don't have is like 5 16 bolts. I never seem to have the right one. Is that tank? One's a little faded. One's brand new. Who cares? This one's faded. It's all yellow inside. Well, the heat control is done. We got low and high. And we got defroster and floor. A little vent underneath. That's floor. That's defroster. Pretty cool. Um, I went and got some real clamps too because uh, those hand crank things are junk. These are real clamps. A couple big ones for the radiator hoses of which I know I need more than that. And uh, a couple little ones for the uh, coolant lines. I actually need smaller ones than those now, now that I look at them. I'm going to put those on now. Something to do. I went to Wendy's. <sighs> Dad's over there uh, what do you call it? Streaming me on my iPod, which is plugged into the wall. And wireless, connected to my house. Pretty cool. I've been putting my heater hoses on. Got some real clamps, like I said. These are good. These are good. These three are uh, ones for here. And I put two on the bottom one on the radiator in opposite directions. Um, I need one piece of hose that's 90 degrees, inch and a half ID. Um, top hose. Put the clamp underneath. Looks good. Clamp underneath. Valves clamped. What else did I do? I forgot. I gotta bring these back. I got the wrong ones. No biggie. Um, that's it. A lot of work again. Been a great day. One little piece at a time. I found the perfect thing for all of Grab Green. Spray some mineral oil on it. Does it smell? Food equipment lubricant. It's mineral oil. Put that stuff on there and gets rid of the dust and it kind of shines, you know. Because the, uh, the green is just dying for some oil. There's the difference. It's nice and shiny. And it takes a long time to wash off. And there's nice and dull. So, 
For a car show, I wouldn't be uh, spraying it with WD-40. I'd spray it with mineral oil and wipe it down. This side looks good, too. But there's no help in the bowling pin. She's been dropped who knows how many times. Maybe we can have it dipped or sealed or something. But uh, i got to go take a shower. Heater controls that work. This one doesn't have to go all the way. It's a really short throw. This one works nice. <sighs> this is very tiring. I've been kicking ass on this thing like crazy. I mean, I'm surprised it doesn't run right now. If I had um, fuel and coolant and a bottom radiator hose and uh, what's left? The Allison wired up. Um, I'll probably turn it over. So soon enough. Don't ever be in a rush. You rush things, you ruin things. I waited 10 years. <laughs> I don't think anything's going to be ruined. Look at how shiny the pulley is. I hit it by mistake. It works good on uh, brass, too. I was cleaning that up. It's kind of dingy. And pulley. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the video before, I had put a little finger full of grease around the inside of the boot. Um, that's an old, like, race car trick. That way, if you had to pull a hose off to change it, you know, they, like, bond to the seal after the heat hits them. It won't do that as much. The brake booster is in, if I didn't mention it. Master cylinder is in. The brake lines are not connected. The rubber hoses are still there for bleeding. There's the new cable I bought for the, uh, you can see it, yeah. Wrong one. It only opens and closes a little. <clears throat> but it works. One less thing to worry about. Uh, the Allison's probably next. And the alternator. Dear God, never ends. It'll end soon. <laughs> I look like crap. I am so tired. The mess. All my fittings. What I did to this hat. Filthy. Yeah, throw that puppy out. <laughs> I killed it. Chevrolet, quality since 1911.